Hello and welcome to um, where I play some city um, getting started tutorial. Uh, what? Well, this is laggy. Sorry, I was just quitting a program there. Uh, welcome to the Getting Started tutorial. This tutorial is a step-by-step -step introduction to the basics of being a mayor of your very own city. The terraforming, making money, big city, and rush hour tutorials are also available in the Timbuktu region. If you already know the basics of getting a city up and running, you might try one of these tutorials. Click the continue button to move forward. Overview. We'll first get an overview of the game interface, and then we'll get into the details of building a city from scratch. The game is divided in, into three modes that we'll explain briefly. God mode, mirror mode, and mice mode. Click the God mode toolbar to continue. God mode button. God mode. This mode lets you powerful city altering things such as creating mountains and values, at least incorporating or destroying a city. Changing day to night, or pelt your city with disasters. Roll a cursor over a button on the vertical toolbar and leave it there for a moment. A tooltip will appear that gives you more information. Roll over all the buttons to see what they do. So this easily removes all traces of civilization. Oh, sorry for that noise there. Fluffy the Wonder Cat. <laughs> so his <laughs> control slash to turn off help test. <laughs> Fluffy the Wonder Cat. <laughs> oh, um, this basically makes that it's new to the city, and this makes like tornadoes and disasters and things. And this controls the night. Mare mode. Mare mode is where you will send most of the game. Setting up zones, laying out transportation networks, power and wire systems, and choosing civic buildings. Hover over a different button to see what they do in mare mode. We'll get to more do more details later in the tutorial. Hey, this is like landscaping and trees and making things. This is zoning for all your sims live. It'll explain that later. And where they work and shop and all that. Oh, uh, this is all transportation tools such as like trains, up uh, roads, airports, boats, and whatever. Then there's the utilities, power and sewage, and um, the um, dump. And there's all the civic buildings, which have like schools, uh, fire stations, lease stations, SARP lease, monuments, a lot of things. Um, anyway, my sim mode. In this mode, you deal with your sims out on the street, up close and personal. You can move an individual sim into house to get feedback on their neighborhood or their fel or to follow their lives. Ask any sim on the street how they feel about things when, with the microphone tool. You can also take control of a vehicle and go for a spin around town or challenge yourself with a mission. Click the continue button. Go ahead. And like, the start of this video was a little awkward. I'm quite excited because I finally figured out a recorder. I was having a lot of trouble before. So basically, I, um, I got it to go in a screen mode, and, well, there's a bunch of problems I had that I fixed with other ways. So, yeah. It's quite exciting because I've been wanting to do this for so long. I love this game. I haven't played it in so long. Where should we start? The town has been incorporated and you are the mayor. You control the layout of the city. 
It's your job to say where the students can live, work, and shop. You can also say where civic buildings like power plants and schools get built. You've got a bunch of cash and some pristine land. Try to make a thriving metropolis. Uh, what should we do? F what I mean, you do first, then? Uh, let's first zone some land for homes. I reset the game, by the way. That's why I'm getting these tutorial things. Residential zone. To zone some land for homes, click the highlight button buttons and select the low density residential zone tool. Medium and high density are too extensive for us right now. If you hover over a button with the mouse for a few seconds, you'll get more info about it. This that might this might help you remember what things in menus and and you find them. So anyway, this is a very modded SimCity. So there's some things that are different from the normal game, and it sometimes makes tutorials harder, which I'm doing right now. Because, um, tutorials, well, sometimes the indicators, those little arrows, they go off the screen because I have so many items in the transport tab. So, anyway, great. We've made our first residential zone. Our for sure. Uh, once seems of everything they need, they'll start to build houses on the green zone you just laid out. Do all buildings build on their own? No. As you'll see in a moment, you can place fully built civic buildings like power plants and schools. Buildings need power. So, why are there no sims moving in and building houses? Well, obviously, because there's no roads to the outside. Actually, that's not true. They don't need roads in this game from the outside. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Actually, it's yes, yeah, the little lightning bolts of the, the residential zone offer a clue. They have no power! Let's fix that now. I don't know how it does anything to do with it. Oh, no, I like Ben's blah. So as you'll see here, um, this isn't actually a normal game. There's a bunch of things, like futuristic ones. That big power plant. All these, they don't exist. But anyway, ugly coal power plants, I hate those. I prefer electric power plants. I need not electric power plants, just cars. I prefer, um, I prefer a wind power plant and renewable energy. More. Good work. You'll see the lack of power in your gazer. The residential zones are gone. You now have plenty of power. You should see some sims starting to build homes now. See? They have no roads to go. You know, that's actually what is real there. See all those no car signs over the homes? I mean, look at that. <gasps> Oh no, they're randomly appearing somehow. Isn't it crazy how they do that with no roads in the city? They just appear somehow? <laughs> they just spawn in. I know, man, if there were like two sims there, but I mean, no one at all. They just start appearing. Yeah, right. You shouldn't be able to build roads in the middle. Either. I don't know. Maybe they went all over all that weird terrain. It looks quite strange. But they probably went over that grassy terrain to get there. Which is strange if you try to imagine it. Because <laughs> the terrain's kind of a little bit flat and unrealistic. Though, I will say, this has, even though it's pretty old and doesn't require that much graphics memory, this is really realistic graphics, in my opinion. At least for the city, it's not super clean. I don't know why. I mean, it doesn't have very much control over the graphics, and you know, people have much detail, but the graphics engine in this is pretty good. Eh, good wire. Uh, oh, yeah. Industrial zone. Sim needs places to live and also to work. The cold pant provides a few jobs, but not many. So, how do we make more jobs? Industrial zones provide lots of jobs. Click the highlighted button and select medium density industrial zone from the zone um, menu. From the zone industrial menu. So, um, by the way, the low one is actually agricultural. Let's 
excuse me, but I'm getting thirsty. I'd like some water. Nothing about this is zones need to be active. It's so good. We built the industrial zone a little bit away from the residential zone because dirty industry makes a lot of pollution and well, um, this not take that year, but, uh, Sims don't really like pollution very much. Soon zones are not connected. Let's take care of that. And, let me mention, show that there are lack of power indicators over there. Two. They'll fix that some more. Not with power lines. It's actually quite interesting. <laughs> streets for roads. The streets are, that are built during the zoning process are just that. Secondary streets. They can't handle a lot of traffic. Roads allow more cars. Drive at higher steeds in smaller capacity streets. Building roads. Let's build a road from the houses and the factory site. A good thoroughfare for commuters. Click the highlight button and select the road tool. Now, click and hold the left mouse button at the end of the flashing area. Drag the mouse way near to the other end of the flashing area and release the mouse button. Try this now. Now, this isn't in the game. There's a lot of them that aren't in the game. Diagonal streets, puzzle pieces, wide curves, underpasses. They have uh, quite interesting ones. This network Adam mod, I think it is. I have like, probably hundreds of mods here. I don't know how many I have. But um, I have a lot. Good job! The two areas are now connected by road. The industrial zone needs power before the factories will build there. We had to run uh, power lines from the two power plants in the residential zone. But instead, let's kill two birds with one zone. Get it? Stone zone? I think they had a pretty good joke there. I mean, zone. I, I'm usually saying is, um, kill two birds with sunstone. This is one zone. <laughs> Oh, I made that not funny. I made, I made a previous video, but I didn't like it very much. And it, was, it was a lot funnier than the previous one. Let's tower the industrial zone by making a commercial zone. This will connect all the zones, allowing power to flow through them all. Click continue to move ahead. Commercial zones. We zone places for our sims to live and work, but they have nowhere to shop. Let's make a commercial zone for the sh bro uh, shops and offices. Click the highlighted buttons and then like blah 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 blah. Slow density commercial. So basically, power flows through the commercial zone. So we're like invisible power lines. Good! Now we're in business. You'll start to see some shops and factories soon. And more systems moving in too. Remember, power flows through zones. Click continue to move ahead. Zoom out. No. Yeah, they just sing. Zoom in. Just in, zoom out. I know all these controls already. You can pause the video and read it if you don't. Excellent. Oh, whoops. You didn't actually need to zoom out. It already does it. This is just showing how to scroll in center to view with the right mouse button. You can actually use the mouse wheel to zoom in. It's No, the graphics might not be that realistic, but I mean, uh, text the 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 models and things. But I mean, it makes the textures look pretty nice, in my opinion. 
However, this grass, I think it could use some improvement. I mean, it looks kind of flat. You can't really see much. Actually, it looks like it has fake hills a little bit. Or you all these sims move in and get cars and everything without roads like me outside. Great. Inside how fast you want to simulate time to progress and you're sitting using the speed controller. You can run the simulation at any three speeds. Turtle, Rhino, or Cheetah. Simulation you're currently moving at its turtle scene, let's pause it. It's kind of funny the way they name it. They have a lot of funny quirks in this game. And the cheats aren't really like sh always cheats for helping to the game because they think they are gonna use cheats like so. There's one like cheat code that's like uh, oh sorry for the microphone thing, like Dalai Lama or something. It turns advisors' heads into llamas, and like how could that be useful? <laughs> so they definitely have a lot of silly Easter eggs in here. <laughs> It is quite, uh, funny. Mm. Education is important. Oh, yeah. You don't demonstrate that that well when making money. I guess you do okay. You just make it a uh, smaller education zone. Um, so it only includes residential, but... Our city's starting to grow, but there's no school for little sims. Better education... Educated sims want better, higher paying jobs. These better jobs generate more tax revenue and less pollution and dirty industry. Which is what we have now. Educate educating sims is a slow process. But it's not too early so it's not too early to start now. Hmm. Build an elementary school. It doesn't have very much there. So these are all the systems. And as you see, I have some other things like that. It's like just, it's kind of glitchy with a mod. It's like one building that has everything, though it actually has separate buildings in it. Like you, like a lot of it's just, like you make buildings inside buildings, because a lot of it's like transparent. But all these museums, it's like the school is the only vanilla SimCity thing in there that you can see at least. Oh. Hmm. Hold off on other services. Good. Education uh, uh, level sims uh, uh, near th that live near the school slowly increase. Now you might want to build all sorts of services like water pumps and police stations, but hold off for a bit. Your city doesn't really need those things until it gets bigger. You can't really afford them yet. <laughs> Try making many tutorial for further details. Congratulations! We've pretty much covered the basics of being a mayor of, sim of a sim city. You're all set at. I hope I remember every so often a little emergency may pop up. Though it's probably not going to happen any time soon, so let's just be relaxed. Whoa! Fire! There we go, an emergency on our hands. Click the continue button to move forward. <laughs> I didn't mean to read that. You need to build a fire station. Cook. Hurry! Our sims are in peril! <laughs> Hurry! Good! Now we need to get those engines to the fire. The firefighters end the scene. Watch about the blaze. May take a little while.
the reason it's just shadows, which surprises me, because, I mean, I can't run pixel shaders in Minecraft, but for some reason it works in here. Phew, Mary, you reacted well to your first emergency challenge. You have the basics to start building your own cities. Keep in mind that you have a team of advisors to help steer you in the right direction, and, uh, uh, to alert you have problems in your city as they crop up. Let's meet them now. Your advisors. There are advisors. Um, each of your advisors covers a different aspects of your city. Move your mouse over the advisor to get a tool tip. So the city planner gives you tips on building your city as well as guidance on being the most popular mayor. Finance advisor is not currently that happy. Will give you uh, the state on sending versus income with an eye on keeping your city well funded. Um, he's never happy. She's either neutral or sad. Even if you're rolling in riches. Utilities sizer. Your utilities sizer will give you information on water, on your uh your water power and sanitation systems. There's no sewer in this game, by the way. Yeah. They just throw, uh, they they just um have dumps and no sewer, and running water. But for some reason, there's no sewer. I don't know why. Your um at least in Sim City Four, which I actually like better than Sim City Five. Bigger maps, and the graphics are really realistic. It's way better modded. And it has a very good region system. I think this is one of the best city building games. I don't know which one's better. Uh, since City 4 or City 6 XL. Your public safety advisor. Who's really happy right now. Um, your public safety advisor will keep you informed on issues regarding pr crime, police coverage, and fire coverage. Health and education advisor. Your health and education advisor will keep you updated on issues concerning the health and educational demands of your citizens. Transportation advisor. Your transportation advisor will give you information on your transit systems. Environmental advisor. Environmental advisor will be posted on important information regarding pollutants. Ne uh, advisor messages. Neil Furbanks is your city planner. He'll help you out, you out with the basics of running an efficient city. Check with your advisors while you build your city. Especially when the background behind the red turns red. That means they have something more important to tell you. Congratulations, Mayor. You've completed this tutorial. You can continue the next tutorial by going to the region view and selecting Terraforming Tutorial City. You can also continue to play this city. You as mayor, are free to add it to the way you please. Whether you prefer a farming village or a gigantic metropolis, the choice is yours. You might start by adding some more residential zones. Click exit tutorial. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. I think I'm going to play the city some more, because I don't feel like doing more tutorials. I already did an entire episode on them, multiple episodes before. So I don't feel like doing this anymore. Now what's our finances? Gee, the finance is terrible. Yeah. You know what? I think I'll exit. Um... Bye.